2018, the Stress Hotspot Diagnostics tool got some awesome new improvements. You can now isolate singularities, see a convergence plot, and apply mesh controls to legitimate stress concentrations. In this video, we're going to look into these new enhancements so you can put them to work for you. First off, you have to run a static study in order to access the Stress Hotspot Diagnostics tool. This tool will search your results and find elements which have a high stress gradient compared to their adjacent elements. There's a slider to adjust the sensitivity and some checkboxes to choose between element and node values. The diagnostic will give you the ability to show hotspots as a different color, in this case gray. You can also isolate the hotspots to get a better understanding of where they are in your model. New in 2018 is the Detect Stress Singularity section of the Property Manager. In order to determine if the hotspot is legitimate or a singularity, multiple studies have to be run with a refined mesh and the stress values compared. The first option we have is how many successive runs we want to run to refine the mesh. We can then choose how much we want to scale the mesh down with each run using the element reduction factor. As we manipulate these settings, we're given a chart showing all the edges with hotspots and the refinement that's going to happen with each run. So in this example, the first run will reduce the mesh to 70% of what it was, and the next run will have another reduction to 70%. Clicking on the Run Stress Singularity button will run the study at different mesh levels and record the stress values at the hotspot location. If the stress values diverge and continue to increase as the mesh is refined, then a singularity was found. On the other hand, if the stress value converges as the mesh is refined, then you have found a legitimate hotspot location. You can plot the results by clicking on the Plot Convergence Graph button to see a graphical representation of the stress value at each edge and how it changes as the mesh is refined. As we can see, the stress at edge 1 is diverging, and we can conclude that it is in fact a stress singularity. If we click on edge 1 in the property manager, it is highlighted in blue in the graphics area. As we examine the edge in the graphics area, we can clearly see that we have a sharp reentrant corner, which is the cause of our mathematical singularity. A simple fillet will make this part more manufacturable and will remove the stress singularity. The other edges in the plot converge and have a negligible change after the first refinement. This tells us that we have a legitimate stress concentration in the area and the mesh is sufficiently refined to give us an accurate stress value. Now that we have diagnosed the stress hotspots in the model, we can choose to overwrite the original mesh with the new refinements or restore the original mesh. Since we did not have a significant change in the stress values on the second level of refinement, I can choose to restore the original mesh so I can save on solving time and degrees of freedom, but in doing so I would have to do some mesh refinement manually. So instead, I'm going to overwrite the existing mesh, but selectively. I'm going to deselect edges that correspond to the singularity, so no degrees of freedom are going to be wasted. After clicking the check mark, I now have a mesh that is refined where the stresses concentrate, and I know they are valid because of the convergence plot. In summary, the Stress Hotspot Diagnostics tool got some awesome new improvements. You can now isolate singularities, see a convergence plot, and apply mesh controls to legitimate stress concentrations.